Rajesh. I'm one of the founder and CTO of Parallel Wireless. I would like to introduce you to our newest member of the family, our 2G product portfolio. So one could ask, why are we doing 2G? Why not 5G or 6G or 7G, right? And we'll get there, so, but let's talk about 2G for now. 2G is actually still being deployed around the world. And you already know it's being deployed for places, uh, rural and remote places, because they need a connectivity and we love to connect the unconnected. Also, 2G is actually the most promising platform from, from machine to machine. And that's probably the most deployed machine to machine platform and it'll continue to do so. And 2G also acts as a really nice platform for a roaming where, um, uh, especially the international roaming, where other technologies may have some challenges. So it becomes a fallback option for roaming. That's why 2G is really important and continue to be important part of the roadmap. So now let me introduce you to our newest member, uh, our 2G product. Actually, this is the same product we already have been deploying for 3G and 4G. It's just a software upgrade to add 2G into this unit. What you're looking at is actually a combined unit, software defined, doing 2G, 3G, and 4G at the same time. And you know, honestly, many people have used this terminology software defined radio. My suggestion is try it, ask those other vendors to turn on the 3G and 4G on their 2G radio now, not in future. And this is what something you can do with this unit today. It's already doing 3G and 4G and has been deployed in many places. And now we are introducing 2G into the same unit. So what you're looking at it is a compact form factor BTS. This is actually a very high power unit. This has two TRXs of the ports. These are physical ports, not the 2G TRXs. Each port has 40 watt of output power and you can do up to four TRXs on each port. You can either uh, light uh, up to 40 RXs of 2G on each port. You can either do a 2G or 3G, 3G or 4G, or 2G or 4G, any combinations because it's truly a software defined radio, up to 40 watt on each antenna port, uh, and there are two antenna ports here. And this, of course, does a diversity receive because uh, you know if you're using a 2G, it acts as a diversity receive. If you're using a 4G, then it's a 2x2 MIMO uh, in this case. This is a DC powered unit with a built-in GPS port and all it needs is a DC power and you can connect this to our wireless meshing backhaul to daisy chain several of these and provide a connectivity from a single backhaul. So I would like to also point out there's nothing on the ground besides the power supply, uh, either DC or uh, off-grid or uh, you know AC to DC converter, whatever is available into this unit. There is no cabinet, nothing on the ground. This unit is completely um, self-contained. So all the things are built in and with the uh, included wireless backhaul option, you don't even need to provide a wired backhaul into this unit. If you do, this unit can take a fiber or a copper backhaul. And this unit continues to get managed from our HetNet Gateway product, which you can find on our website. Headnet Gateway will act as a virtual BSC, that's the base station controller, orchestrating these all these units remotely and providing the OSS BSS connectivity from a single place. So you don't have to go to a site to configure. You can sit remotely and manage and control and watch your network uh, via Headnet Gateway and our element management system, just like you do today for 3G and 4G. This is just a software add-on for 2G. So I wanted to show actually there's nothing to see because what you're looking at is an off-the-shelf server here acting as your virtual platform. This is your either virtual RMC for 3G, virtual VSC for 2G or virtual EnoD for 4G platform and virtual gateway for your 5G platform. The same platform is doing if you are deploying a femtocells cells of these technologies. So really there's nothing to see because these are off-the-shelf platform, you'll be directly procuring it yourself and installing this platform. And what this will do is this will automate your network, so it makes it plug and play and future proof. So once you deploy this, whether you are doing from 2G to 3G to 4G or 4G adding 2G, it are going for 5G, it doesn't really matter, the same platform will do it. And all the management is right happening right from here, sitting comfortably in your data center or on your management not stations logging into these servers and 
finding out that statistics and status and KPIs and reports from the field from your 2G, 3G, 4G radios. About the total cost of ownership, because a lot of times uh, this is a bigger picture that gets missed when we are talking technology. The total cost of ownership includes the meshing backhaul where it greatly reduces your transport costs. The power consumption, because there is no equipment on the ground, the power consumption is greatly reduced. In fact, this unit is really not that heavy considering this is delivering 80 watt of total power output into the antenna ports and doing 2G, 3G, 4G. Um, and multiple carriers at the same time. Uh, we do believe this is uh, the most efficient units you'll find in the market, uh, being able to do software-defined radio. So again, going back to the total cost of ownership, it comes from the power, it comes from the management, you being able to manage yourself without requiring a lot of people to manage your network, and being able to actually future-proof and being able to share the transport via mesh technology. And that's why we believe the total cost of ownership is one of the biggest advantage with our solution because we look after not only the technology making it future proof up to 5G or beyond, we also look after simple things like um, power efficiency, uh, SON, which is what our headnet gateway will manage, uh, transport, which our uh, meshing will allow you to do, as well as the management OSS BSS from a single place for hundreds and thousands of these radios in the field. And that's one of the biggest point I believe you should be looking into when you're comparing parallel wireless solution with any other competing solutions in the market.